So I thought I would do kind of a quick introduction while we're being charged by this random mythical buffalo. So much like the other videos this week, I prepared this video a while in advance uh, before my trip. And this is one of the first videos that I actually did. So some of the things that I say in this video are going to maybe not make sense because it's information that we already know. Or I think at some point I say things that like I haven't shot yet, which by now I have, but at this point I hadn't. So just to kind of like clarify why it maybe sounds like this video happened a long time ago. It pretty much has, but we did end up getting this mythical, which was a diamond, and I mean, it was kind of cool because we no-scoped him, but it was from literally just a couple of meters away, so I don't know, but he was charging me. I thought that would make for a good little intro anyway. So that right there is definitely something we want for the new lodge. We don't have any red deer in there yet, and honestly, eventually, whether we get a diamond or another rare stag, like, that's going to look really good in that multi-mount, so... We're definitely going to want to get that, and we're pretty close to the end of Red Deer drink time, but I think we have plenty of time to scoot in here and hopefully get her. Now, I'm wondering, because we've had the hinting from EW at, uh, it kind of looks like muzzleloaders, and generally, any big update like that, a new true rack species comes along with it. So maybe we're going to be looking at Red Deer somewhat soon, and if that's the case, we're definitely going to be trying to get a true rack friend for this albino but if i can get my guns to actually work i hope we don't hit that branch but i don't think we're going to hopefully we can get her <laughs> definitely hit her we could spot to see yeah we got her good so not that there's any uh difference females can't make anything but uh actually they can't even make bronze anymore if i remember right but Good to get the score out of her anyway. Oh, actually, she's right here. I didn't realize she was even here. I was just going to get the track. But she actually died rather nicely for some screenshots. And yeah, not possible for them to make a metal, but pretty cool. We'll have the rare female for if and when we get a diamond or a rare stag. That multi-mount will be all set, so that's actually... Nice to find just running around multiplayer. And now we have a level 3 duck. And I've actually not shot a diamond cinnamon teal since the new scoring system. And he's about 160, so we shouldn't even need to aim high. If I can figure out where he went. Alright, nice. So the good thing is they updated the ducks uh, since the beta. You can hit them anywhere. Like any flesh counts as the vital hit and passes the vital check. So... Nice that we don't have to be, like, super careful with the ducks. And this dude is, I think, a small diamond. 4.6 is the requirement, but I'm honestly not sure. I think they get to 4.7 or 8. It's kind of difficult to tell with the teal, but he is a diamond, so... We're definitely gonna send that to the lodge and add that to our collection of scoring system 2.0 diamonds. Pretty cool to actually get that. Literally, like one lake over from the albino red deer so we've got another level three duck i think he's actually like 150 pretty sure the 180 i'm catching the ground like under the water so that was close he almost spooked he went to alarm so dang still missed should be able to get him because he's flying straight away just need to get it lined up right. Maybe we can get him. I'm starting to wonder. Okay, where? He's all the way up there now. I'm trying to... Oh, we actually got him. I'm trying to just get a bunch of shots and try leading and, you know, shooting different amounts of like distance above him eventually one of them found the spot he was starting to look more and more like maybe a slightly different color I don't know if he was a red but it could have been just how far away he was but we shot him easily like 230 meters or so by the way I'm actually uh I didn't get to do like voice audio over it because I had a heater running in here because it's really cold but uh I just shot a level 5 black buck which I thought was going to be a diamond, like, no problem. They always have been. 
I wonder if they've actually kind of fixed Black Buck now to where not every level 5 is a diamond, because he was 28.2 trophy rating. 28.2 is actually diamond, but there's some, like, hidden decimal I can see where that um, could just be, like, a fact that it was a little bit too small. But the interesting thing was he was 49 kilos, which in the past would have been 975 probably, I would say, for for a black buck. So I'm thinking it might actually be actually kind of meaning something to get a diamond black buck now. And I like that. They're actually one of my more favorite animals in the game. Um, they just, they were always so easy to get diamond, they never meant anything. Now, we got a multiplayer glitch where all the hunting pressure ended up up here. And now I don't know where our duck was, but I marked the center of that pressure for a reason, so hopefully we can find him. It actually could be possible that he landed in the water and floated back. I don't think he did. We're going to have to do a little bit of running around to find him, but we have, like, a rough idea of where he should be. There he is. All right, so he's over here just a little bit, but I just want to see like how far that shot was and is he actually any kind of color variant? I think he's actually common. Common and again 4.6 so honestly I have no idea with the diamond ducks if that's I guess just average. I'm pretty sure I know they can go higher weight. I know they can be at least 0.47. I think 0.48 was what my thousand was so they can definitely get bigger but Two diamond teal. I mean, there's going to be a lot of duck plaques in this lodge. And again, uh, I'll mention I'm planning on kind of mixing the reserves with the rooms more. So there's going to be like plenty of opportunities to get diamond teal and mallard. Because I'm probably not going to be killing a ton of diamond harlequin. They're just not as common, it seems. But that is something I want to do, actually, is go and maybe look for a couple of those eventually. That is actually the first legendary water buffalo I've seen since they got their true horns like i've shot probably four or five diamond mythicals but i haven't even seen a level nine yet and i've seen a lot of these end up like making silver and some of them are golden i know it is possible for them to make diamond too so i mean if it does make diamond i don't know if it's like a legit diamond but i feel like as long as it has the weight of the old diamonds and stuff it should but we got them to stand up so maybe if you'll give us a shot here Go for that. Oh, didn't get the heart. Let's just wait a second. Okay, he's dropping, so I think we're gonna be okay. Um, maybe we'll just. I kept that really low and back to make sure I didn't hit him in the skull, but. Well, let's go see. I mean, that could be. Maybe, like I said, a legit diamond, or could also just be a silver and two nose with these true horns. What in the world are they doing? Oh my. Are they all aggressive? I don't think this is going to go well. Alright, let's, uh... Ooh. That dropped him. Just... Just kill all these. <laughs> just, just get rid of them all. What in the world? I've never seen so many water buffalo go aggressive like that before. Or any buffalo. Ooh, that follow-up wasn't so good. Still more coming over here, too. This is just completely ridiculous. I should take care of that one. There's still another one. I don't know where he's off to. Maybe we'll just... Alright, well... He's probably going to run all the way over where we were standing when we shot the legendary, so... I don't know. Might take a minute. We'll just claim all these and uh, get going. But how many was that? I'm going to try to keep track. Actually, that was a nice heart shot. For some reason, that's a bronze. But that was two. There's three more here, at least. It's actually like a decent gold. Like, you can see from this, it still doesn't make sense. Four more here. Plus the, uh, the other dude that we still need to shoot. So, seven, I think, charged us. If I count it right, that's just insane. I have never seen that. And I've hunted a lot of water buffalo, like, especially before the uh, the True Horns update. That's just 
<laughs> really weird. To be fair, useful that they charged to where I was standing when I shot the legendary, because that allowed us to just get easy broadside shots as they charged past us, but what the heck? But we got through that, and we're going to see if this legendary is actually going to make diamond, if he's like a legit diamond water buffalo. Hey, he actually is a diamond. 202 is maybe one of the biggest ones I've shot. Just behind the heart for that heart shot, and then just a random shot for a follow-up, but he's actually got cool horns. Pretty, like, unique. His weight is, like, high enough that, at least on the old system, he would have been diamond. I think that's, like, an actual legit diamond water buffalo. That's really cool. But, yeah, that actually turned out, like, to be a pretty good hunt. We got our, I think, biggest diamond water buffalo, like, trophy rating-wise, 202.7. I know one of the ones I shot on the release day of the True Horns actually was over 200 as well, but I think... Yeah, 201... Point two, so that is the biggest one, and I'm glad like it's an actual legendary, and like I said, I think legit. It should be as far as I know, but who knows what's actually going on with him. But he's actually got a lot of character to him, which is pretty neat. But we got our two diamond teal here. The mythical buffalo we shot at the beginning, which literally just charged us, and I went for a no-scope just to do something different. And our second albino red deer female, so we'll have two multi-mounts we can actually do when, uh, I guess whenever we get... A diamond or rare stag, or I guess when the true racks come out, we'll definitely be trying to do something with that. But yeah, pretty decent little parquet hunt. We're definitely actually getting things added to the lodge slowly, and I like it. Like, things are starting to fill up a little bit, which is really good. Good to actually start to make progress, because starting a new lodge is kind of daunting because everything's so empty, but we're getting somewhere. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.